Now, please welcome CABE Board President, Carling Aguilera Fort. Good morning, CABE. Buenos dias, CABE. Maganda umaga, CABE. I am delighted to welcome you once again to our third day of this amazing CABE 2016. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Before we continue talking about CABE, I want to acknowledge and thank the planning committee, all the co-chairs that represent the districts across the Bay Area, that represent the county offices of education, that represents the partners associations like CALSA, AXA, Thank you so very much for joining us and for making this conference possible. Without you, we wouldn't be here having such a great time and having such a great learning. Thank you. I also want to especially thank the CABE staff. You don't see what happens behind the scenes. It takes almost an entire year to get ready for this conference. Our staff at CABE have worked tireless, and they sleep, believe it or not, two to three hours during this entire week. The first meeting of the staff every morning during this conference starts at 6 a.m., and then they get ready to serve you with a smile. I also want to thank you to thank, yes. And I also want to thank our CABE CEO. She leads, she works, she's in action every single minute of this conference. So please join me in thanking the CABE staff and our CABE CEO, Jan Gafterson Correa. For 41 years, and we keep repeating that, 41 years, CABE has been at the forefront of the struggle of la lucha on behalf of our English learners, like myself. One can say 41 years and we have evolved and we have made a tremendous progress. And it is true in terms of the conversation we now can talk about language, about rights of English learners and rights of the underserved students. We can talk about the achievement gap now in a public setting. Yes, we are having the conversations. Happens that if we read any book, any research, and I guess the scholars like Noguera can confirm this, we can pull one of those books from 40 to 50 years ago. We eliminate the date. And actually, we hide the name of the author. And we will be repeating the same research. And we will be validating the same reality as if it's happening today, as if it was written today. So that means that from the conversation, CAVE is inviting you to the action, to the doing. It is beautiful to talk. And I love the stage, believe me. <laughs> and the key piece is, what do we do as after we leave the stage? And that is the invitation. Today, you are at the conference. What happens after you leave the conference? And if we don't take actions, we will keep coming back to do the same. So CABE is inviting you to really do the work on behalf of our ELs and to deepen that work 
and to make sure that these kids get what they need when they need it. Yes, the plans are good, but then we need to move forward to action. That's why CAVE has developed the COMPASS. That's our strategic plan. And the strategic plan guides us to take action. We have established partnerships. We now have professional developments that validate practices. We have now international partnerships so that we can learn from others how we can support our English learners and all of our students. And this is in the face of the narrative of today. In the political arena, we know what is the narrative in many places. And we know what is the narrative against our own various students. And that's why God invites you to take action. You know how you are supposed to vote in November. You know who are you going to say, uh-uh, no va a pasar. <laughs> you know who you are going to tell that. But guess what? It's at the national level, but it's at the local level, the state level. Now we got someone who is telling us that he's running for senator against our own very children again? But now we are ready. We are prepared. No nos van a agarrar de sorpresa. <laughs> so we are ready and CAVE invites you to take action. CAVE, Californians together, and all of you as a family and community need to go vote and make sure that our voices are heard. I want to leave you with this challenge. Go back to your district, go back to your schools, and make sure that the excitement and the energy doesn't stay here. Take it with you and work with every single child like it was your own child. Think about what you want for your child. That's what you would like for every single student. On behalf of CAVE, thank you so very much. Enjoy the rest of your conference. Take everything that you can and follow the compass. And if you need a GPS, get one so you won't get lost. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Carling, for that inspirational message.